What's going on YouTube? Geofn right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use a program called Mirror 2 in order to basically screen mirror your device to your computer and even control the device with your mouse. The program is available here on the iMyPhone website. It's called iMyPhone Mirror 2 and this one works for iOS and Android and it supports Windows and macOS as well. There's a free trial available as well and this one allows you to freely control your device with a large screen from your computer and you can easily do shared screen from iOS or Android. The program looks like this when you try to install it you just press the install button and that's basically it and I have it right here once you open it you have two options either go with Wi-Fi or USB if you go with USB you can easily connect the device to the computer and it will be tethered and the computer will basically act like a projector like a monitor for your device you can also go with Wi-Fi for example on iOS go to screen mirroring and then select mirror 2 and your computer you must be on the same Wi-Fi and once you do that you will be able to basically see the device on your computer. So as you can see I am right here on screen mirroring and I'm mirroring to my computer and that's basically it. As you can see my device is now over here and everything seems to be okay. And now if you want to make a presentation or stuff like that you will be able to easily do so. For example I'm gonna go here in Safari. We can easily show some slides in real time and it does also work on landscape. So you can see here the device how it looks like. And while you're doing that you can take a picture of your screen if you want to save a screenshot. You can record the video. You can go full screen and just show the presentation over here, which is definitely nice if you're planning to show a PowerPoint or stuff like that. And if you're running an Android device, you are also able to control the iOS device with mouse control. So the device is now completely mirrored to the computer. This program works as well on Windows, so you would be able to see the full device on Windows. Now imagine playing a game in full screen with this on your computer, and you would basically be able to see everything on a huge monitor, which I believe is much better for gaming on the device. And yes, this is basically real time, so you wouldn't lose much. That was Wi-Fi. However, if you want to use the USB cable for, you know, improved frame rate and stuff like that, you go here to USB cable and connect the device to your computer. And I'm gonna do that right now and you'll be able to see it in here choose device iPhone 10s Max in my case I'm gonna press ok and as you can see it says unlock your device I'm gonna go with trust here on the computer it asks you if you want to trust the computer and there you go as you can see it's now very very fast this one works very well compared to the Wi-Fi version and this one is completely real time you can see in here it now works much better so the same thing applies for this one over here if you want to go full screen you press in here and you're now full screen you can go landscape and stuff like that if you want to record Record a presentation directly from your device you press in here and it will start recording automatically so I'm gonna go with recording and that's it I am now recording the screen of my device no problem and you can see here the time that has elapsed once you have completed the recording you press again and you can find it in a folder this one over here and you can open it of course in any video editing software or any video playback software so you can see the presentation over here so that's about it it's a pretty simple program to use those buttons are only for Android devices over here you can control the device with a mouse if you want to, but that requires you to connect to the Bluetooth of the macOS device or Windows device. And on macOS, that requires you to run a version lower than macOS 12, because on macOS 12 and newer, there is a bug that prevents proper Bluetooth connection. So you will not be able to use this feature if you have a newer macOS. However, we can still use the screen of the device in order to browse through the device and through pages and stuff like that. So yeah, that's about it with Mirror 2. The program is available on the iMyPhone website and it allows you to easily transfer files from PC to Android devices. You can conveniently stream your display to any screen on your computer, any display attached to it and stuff like that. And it's even good for gaming because you can play on the device but you can see on the big screen of the computer everything going on with the game and with a good frame rate and pretty fast because it's real time. It's also good for meetings on Zoom, Skype or Cisco Webex and stuff like that. If you're working for a company that does that kind of stuff, it's good for live streaming, it's good for teaching if you want to show on a bigger screen for example for your classroom and stuff. Stuff. There are a lot of ways you can use this program in order to show your screen and present something or play games or whatever. So definitely check the program out in the links below. There is a free trial available for both Windows and Mac OS and you can find it in the description down below. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.